So as you know that we are actually going to challenge ourselves. In the previous video, we tried to uh, make a connection from Amazon EWS uh, EC2 instance running on Windows to Oracle database running in Oracle Cloud. In this video, we'll go a step further. And what we'll do is we'll try to make a connection from SQL Developer. Now you might think that, oh, SQL Developer connectivity should be fine. You just have to give your username, password, connect to the string, and you're done. No, <laughs> it's, it's, it's not that straightforward. Now, especially with OCI Classic, I've seen that you don't hit that many problems, but with OCI, second gen of cloud, you need to be a bit careful in the way you are making your connections. It, the, the whole concept actually works uh, in the form of uh, SSH tunneling. So, we, uh, because the thing is that, uh, let's say if you have to connect uh, to the service uh, or database service on port 1521, that port itself won't be open. So, uh, nobody uh, from outside can really uh, hit uh, the port 1521. So what we need to do is we need to create a, ten, a tunnel, kind of tunnel. Tunnel is like a path that we create from our local port on a local machine to uh, the remote uh, host. Uh, so, uh, but the thing is that in, in this case, uh, I'll, I'll tell you a new method because normally you might remember that when you do SSH tunneling, you just create a SSH connection using PuTTY and then you go into SQL Developer and do from here. I'll actually tell you a method wherein you can do everything from SQL Developer. Okay, nice. So let's let's get started. So in SQL Developer, that's my SQL Developer. You go to View and then press SSH. So you'll see that uh, a new SSH hosts uh, thing appears here. So all you need to do is do a right click, new SSH host. Okay. Now you need to give a name to this. Let's say we say SQL Dev, and here you need to give the host name. This host name would be the public IP address of your Oracle Cloud machine. So if I go here and I go back to my DB system. Yeah, that's my public IP address. I'll just copy it and I'll paste it in my host. Uh, port 22 is fine because we are actually using the SSH uh, protocol. Uh, username, okay, so for username, I'll use the OBC and uh, you, you have to give the key. So this is the key, the private key that we created, you might remember on, on this Mac laptop. So I'll just give the private key selected here. And then you have to put a, a local port forwarding. As I told you that the 1521 port itself is not open for you and it's blocked. So we need to create a tunnel from port 22, from the local port on, on your uh, laptop machine to the remote port. And uh, what I do is I again give some name, SQL Dev. Uh, it's very important here. In, in, in your previous um, OCI Classic, you might have seen that if you, if you try using local host, it actually works uh, for you or, or, or in other databases it works, but not in OCI or the second gen cloud. So what you need to do is in host, you need to give the, uh, the, the actually the private IP address where the listener itself is running. So let's uh, go to our uh, Oracle Cloud machine uh, I'm connected as grid user and I'll just do a listener CTL status and I'll just see the IP. Okay, so I can see the private IP uh, on which uh, the listener is running is 10.0.1.4. So I'll go back to my uh, SQL developer session and in here I'll give this IP. It'll just uh, pick one free port available on your uh, local machine uh, and it'll just use post of the public or uh, the public IP address of the Oracle Cloud machine. You give the OPC user and you give the private key. Then we say lo local forwarding and here we give the uh, IP address where the listener is running on uh, Oracle Cloud machine. And you just say, okay, okay, nice. So you can see that uh, it's, it's made a connection. So we just need to actually connect to this. So just say connect. Okay, it doesn't sh show anything that connected or not. The only way to see is that if you're saying you're disconnected means it's connected. Then you go here and say connect. Nice. Okay, connected. Now we need to actually create a connection. So this is just a kind of a tunnel we have created and now we will create a connection. So if I go to new connection, you can give any kind of name. Say I say test, username I say system. Uh, this is the password that you have uh, to give, which you actually uh, cre uh, had specified when you were creating uh, the database system. So I'll give 
the complex password that you would have given. Okay, in connection type, we have to use SSH. We don't have to use basic, we just use SSH because we have to make use of the SSH tunnel. Role is fine. In case you want to uh, connect to SysDB, you can pick, but uh, let's uh, keep it as uh, default. And service name, very important. Now, service name can't be your VM or CL. Service name, you have to pick the exact name, which would be your DB unique name, uh, followed by your domain name. So we have to pick this thing. So this is whole string because this is our DB unique name along with the domain name. So I'll just copy this whole thing and I'll come back to my SQL dev. I'll, this is my service name, okay? Uh, so this is the port forwarding. This is all looks good. And then we just say test and see if it works or not. Okay, nice. So uh, you can see the status is success. Then we can confidently press on the connect key. Okay, it is taking some time. Okay, so yeah, so this has appeared now. The test connection itself has appeared, it, although it took some kind of time. So let's let's uh, try to query it. Select star from user underscore tables, something like this. Just, just you can run any kind of query. So I'm just running select star that uh, the connection that we have created works or not. So it's it's uh, it's just running because okay nice. So you can see that uh, all my uh, tables um, have um, the the table data has actually appeared. So yeah. Guys, uh, that, that, that's it. I just wanted to show you that we are trying to challenge ourselves. And in this video, we try to connect to the Oracle database in Oracle Cloud Machine uh, or in, in Oracle Cloud using SQL Developer. But you had to use some kind of uh, SSH tunneling. And for that, you don't even need to use PuTTY. You can actually do it through your SQL Developer itself because it has got the capability to create the SSH tunnels for you. Just remember the, uh, the kind of IP addresses you have to give so that your connectivity works all good. Thanks for watching. Thank you.